Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining the channel today. Hope you're doing well wherever you may find yourselves. Today's episode is called The Best Rock Albums of All Time by Subgenre or Movement or Era, because let's face it, some subgenres, as they're called, are really not subgenres at all. They're just a movement or a period or an era, right? So the way this works is that there's no ranking, there's no order. I'm just going to go through, I think it's about 30 subgenres within the umbrella of rock music and talk about what are, in my opinion, the best album for each and every one of those subgenres. There are some I've left out. There are so many, right? I really can't talk about them all. And if I've left something out, it's because I'm not a big fan of that particular type of rock music. And one of those I'll get off right off the bat is death metal. So I won't be talking about uh, death metal or metal core or things like that. But let's go ahead and get started. So again, no order. The first is pop. And that would be for me, the Beatles revolver. Uh, while I like the White Album, and on some days the White Album is my very favorite, sometimes it's Abbey Road, but the problem with the White Album is it's just too much filler and fluff. I uh, talked about in a previous video how I think that album should have been abridged, and of course, um, their, their producer and engineer thought the same thing. George Martin, that is. Now, the next, I'm just gonna call rock because the album in question has so many different styles of rock on it. Um, some's heavy, some's bluesy, some's folky, just all over the place and uneven, but in a good way. And I'm talking about Led Zeppelin, so Physical Graffiti is my favorite rock album. Now, AOR, album-oriented rock, Boston, the debut from Boston. Next, the subgenre is often splitting hairs with the AOR, but I'm going to give it its own category. I'm talking about Yacht Rock, and I'm going to go with um, Infinity from Journey. Now, the next category we call Prog Rock or Progressive Rock, but I'm splitting this into two categories, Classic Prog Rock and Modern Prog Rock. So let's start with Modern Prog Rock and go backwards. And my favorite Modern Prog Rock album of all time is Rush's Moving Pictures. And the reason I give it this category is because this is where Rush is going into new waters, really starting with uh, permanent ways, but really they cement that sound on that album. It's It doesn't have the classic rock sound because you have shorter pieces. You still have an instrumental, but it's shorter. You don't have any really classic epics, although Camera Eye is an epic, but it's new and fresh in a really different way that's hard to describe. And I think this paved the way and influenced so many artists to come. And uh, it's just so different from what um, takes place if you count Permanent Waves as well. The albums that come before these two seminal works are just so different. They're all progressive, but everything from say, Fly By Night through and including Hemispheres are just more English in a progressive way. Especially, well, Hemispheres and Pharaoh of Kings are more English sounding in many ways, especially Pharaoh of Kings. And there's just something about the ones that come before those two that have that pro progressive rock feel. So m moving pictures is much different in my estimation. Feel free to disagree in the comments below. So my favorite modern prog rock album again moving pictures from rush so my favorite classic prog rock album is also from rush and that would be a farewell to kings all right my favorite hard rock album of all time would be deep purples in rock my favorite proto metal album of all time would be vincipus eruptus from blue cheer my favorite classic heavy metal album is from black sabbath and that would be paranoid now while sabotage is my favorite black sabbath album of all time the issue with that is it's you could you could definitely categorize it as classic, but there's some new nuances going on here that makes it such a different hallmark from what's going on with Paranoid. And Paranoid's a close second, um, so I'm counting Paranoid as my favorite classic heavy metal album of all time. My favorite 
hair metal album of all time is Under Lock and Key from Dawkin. My favorite glam rock or proto glam metal would be Give Us a Link from Sweet. Just a fabulous album. My favorite progressive metal album of all time is Operation Mindcrime from Queensryche. My favorite grunge album of all time is the it's two, it's a combo, it's Screaming Life slash the FOP EP from Soundgarden. Just some great heavy stuff here from Soundgarden. This is Soundgarden for me at their best. My favorite punk album of all time, and, and for the most part, that is not what this channel is about, although I will talk about The Damn from time to time and a few other punk bands that I like. I don't like punk much at all, but if we're going to talk about punk, hey, Dane, what's your favorite punk album? Well, it's the debut from The Damn, 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 Damned. Next, post-punk slash new wave would be Scary Monsters and Super Creeps from David Bowie. Some have argued, as myself as well, that this is a post-punk new wave album, and to me it has that feel to it, so I'm counting that. Uh, my favorite no wave album is from Swans, The Great Annihilator, a double album. My favorite n new wave of British heavy metal album, not a genre, but a movement or a period, an epic, an era, just gonna throw that in there, would be High and Dry from Def Leppard. It's crunchy, it's heavy, it's the Def Leppard, sorry, it's the Def Leppard I know and love, thanks to Pete Willis, Pete Willis for the most part. Just great heavy, except for um, bringing on the heartbreak, which is going into more commercial waters, but the Rust album, it, Lady Strange just has a commercial feel to it, but it, it's just so heavy, 90% of it, right? So just a great album. It's what you want from new wave of British heavy metal, if you ask me. Next, industrial rock or industrial metal, industrial slash dance, The Downward Spiral from Nine Inch Nails. Favorite Southern rock album, pronounced Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner. Just a, it, except for maybe one song, is essentially a greatest hits album, if you ask me. Blues rock. It's a tie. Electric Ladyland from Hendrix and Led Zeppelin II from Led Zeppelin. Psychedelic rock. Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Space Rock, Hall of the Mountain Grill from Hawkwind. Jazz Fusion, also a tie, Birds of Fire from Mahavishu Orchestra and Miles Davis's Bitches Brew. Couldn't decide which of the two I like better, best, so these two are a tie. Thrash Metal, no brainer for me, Kill Em All from Metallica. Pave the Way, all that. Doom slash Stoner Metal, and that can tributary off into different subgenres of that, right? But just sticking to the overall umbrella of Doom, Stoner Metal, gotta go with the sciences from sleep. Pop slash punk, so pop punk. This is not a, some people call it emo, emo, that kind of thing. Not a big fan of this genre. There's only one album I like for, in this genre. There's only one album I like from this band, talking about Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge from the great album by which is a great album by My Chemical Romance. Don't like anything else that they do, but I really like this. Now, this is rock, but I'm, 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 I'm making my own little category here, if you will. Singer, songwriter, rock that has piano-based melodies and harmonies to it. Talking about Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Exotic rock, kind of creating my own subgenre here. Talking about Abraxas from Santana, some Latina spices in there, right, so to speak. Love, love this album. New metal, not a big fan, but there is one band that I like, the only band that I like in the genre, talking about Slipknot. Groove metal, Pantera. Finally, folk rock, Harvest by Neil Young. So there you have it, everybody. These are, I believe, 30 in, in total, the my favorite albums of those subgenres in the rock umbrella. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care now. Bye bye.